Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing an exciting unboxing of something I bought myself for my birthday. Okay, hi everybody, my name is India. I haven't been on here. It's a new year! It's a new year and a new toy. So, I'm India, I am a reader. And I'm not gonna really say a book reviewer because I haven't been reviewing very many books, but I'm a reader. Give yourself titles. Anyway, so today I am going to be unboxing this exciting new toy. If you've read the title, then you know what I'm unboxing. And we're also gonna set it up and see what we've got going on with this today, okay? Um, so since if you read the title, you know that this is the new Kindle Scribe. Um, I've, re I've done videos, well let me back up. I wanted to get this because I like annotating in books, especially when I'm trying to be a book reviewer. <laughs> I like annotating in books, but no matter how many times I tried, because I would do the flag method, I don't think I have any books down here that have been flagged. I would do the flag method, you know, I've got um, books on how I annotate on on paper books. Um, and I, ha I got the clear stickies, the clear post-it notes that you can write on top of them. But still something about pin into my books, the books that I love to look at and collect, it just didn't ever work out that well for me and I didn't enjoy it that much. Um, or I didn't enjoy the feeling of I felt like defacing my books that much. So, Kindle came out with a Kindle e-scribe. And you, I'm gonna fix this angle. There we go. So, Kindle came out with a Kindle e-scribe, so I'm really excited about that, okay? Um, so anyway, let's go. We're gonna do some first impressions and then hopefully set it up today. Of course, it's an Amazon product, guys. Kindle's an Amazon product, so we all know that. I will link it down in my um, Amazon storefront, as well as some of my other favorite things for readers. Look at this giant box and then this thing. So it's it's my iPad is charging, but it's like iPad size, guys. Like it is iPad size. Um, I think my iPad and my Kindle are charging, but you know what? I will get all of those things for you guys. Be right back. So I'm back and my husband's back. That was really exciting. Um, but, so I wanted to show you some size comparisons. So this is the Kindle Scribe, right? This is my Kindle Oasis. It's a few years old now, so I don't know what the, what the new one is like, but this is the Kindle Oasis. So, you know, really easy to hold in your hands and things like that. This is the Kindle Paperwhite. This is one of the newer ones, definitely. I don't know if it's like the newest one, but it's one of the newer ones. I got it 21 Christmas. So I got it for Christmas for 2021. So, um, so also another size comparison to it. Of course, you know, all of this could be wrong when I open this and um, it's, you know, padding on either side of the box, but I'm just not ready to open it yet. <laughs> And then this is my iPad. So I think it's gonna be closer to iPad size with just knowing what my screen size is for that. Um, so that is what I'm excited to look at. Um, so my question is, as we open this thing, <laughs> is when you have a Kindle Scribe book, which I'll do a, uh, you know, a catch up in like a month. When you have a Kindle Scribe book, can you also do the scribe features? Sorry. The Kindle scribe features on an iPad with an iPad pencil. So that is something I will look at too. Just so if you already have an iPad and an iPad pencil, then you know the answers. <clears throat> I do have those things. But I'm hoping that this still has the legendary Kindle battery. Um, Cause my iPad is on the older side, like very old. Um, 
Um, it says weeks of battery life. So, um, eh. guys, I'm just really excited. I'm really excited. Um, because I've been wanting to play with it. I've had it here for the last few days, but then I was at work. Um, because my birthday was January 5th, and I think I ordered it a couple days after because it's pretty pricey. It's a pricey piece of equipment. Um, I mean, probably about the same prices as the Kindles with, um, with cellular on in them, but still, it's pricey, and I had to tell myself it was my birthday present to me, okay? Um, it feels like an iPad, like, like it's very metally. I don't know if that makes sense. Like if you've um, had a Kindle before, they feel very plasticky, and this is very metally. And so it's interesting. So going back to like the Kindle to iPad comparison, it's like that. Y'all need to see my notifications. And so it's like that. So it is very much like iPad size. And it's very thin, so it's also very, <sighs> my boobs hit it. It's very thin for iPad size as well. Um, so it's gonna be easy to pack in a backpack or a larger purse or tote bag, um, but definitely not like I have, most of the time I use a smaller purse and I can fit my Kindles in my smaller purse um, just by themselves. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> We had to set it up. We changed our, our language to English, our region to United States English. And look, ah, we have a Kindle. I'm really excited. So, <clears throat> I also am really excited about the Kindle scribe because I, like I said, I do like annotating books. And then also, I realized even with all these books that are just down here, most of these back here are book of the month books that I haven't read and gotten and gone through just because um, I've been trying to use up my book of the month credits, but that's a whole different thing. Um, so most of my book collection is actually upstairs, even though this is starting to fill up, so it makes this library look really great. I'm really excited about that, but anyway. Um, is that this does allow you to um, to write in your books, obviously. That's the whole point, is for you to write and annotate and do those things in your books. Um, I know when you look at things on Kindle, it'll tell you if it's ability to, to, um, sign up. Um, so I got it so that way it was, like, basically already set up for me. So it says, hi, India. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm connected to your Wi-Fi. Creepy a little bit, but hey. Um, we'll download saw an update to give your Kindle the latest and greatest. Let's do it. <clears throat> I wanna do that while I'm talking. So, um, so some of the books like online will say if it's for Kindle Scribe or, or not, or like if it has Kindle Scribe abilities or not for some of the books. So the other reason why um, mine was a little bit pricier is also just because I got the premium pin. Now I'm gonna have to look up and let you know what the difference between the premium Kindle pin and the basic pin is. I can do that right now while that's working. Cause I'm not quite sure I understood the difference. This is their new Kindle scribe and it comes with like a pin. Yes, the one, I, I wanted to get that to you. It's pricey. But it, it, it was pricey. a little pricey after I got you other things. Correct. But that is, that's big. It is big. It is big. It's like an iPad size, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. But well, I'm excited well, about it. Yeah, uh, uh, it, look, it looked cool. I didn't really know what it did, but mm -hmm. I thought, I, I figured from the picture you could like write notes and do stuff, so that looked cool. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for me. <laughs> Not weird. Okay. 
potato dough sometimes. So, rice, tacos. Anything else? Okay, so. Now we got a little interlude from the husband. Um, I know y'all haven't seen Eric in a long time. I know. Um, so, the pen allows you to take digital notes on your Kindle scribe. Um, you can handwrite on sticky notes within your favorite books, create journals and lists, and you can mark up PDF files. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, it also can attaches to the side of your Kindle scribe by ma magnetically, kind of like the iPad pencil, the second generation one. Um, it's also battery free, so you never need to charge it. Like, that's awesome. Um, so this, the pin does have the, has, has a shortcut button on it. You can, yeah, so yeah, it's a shortcut button on it. Um, that allows you to easily, blah, 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 blah. What's it called? Easily highlight or create, erase, cre erase, create sticky notes or anything. And then also it already, like the back is a dedicated eraser. So you don't have to like, like click, erase, do that. You just, you just turn it over and erase. Um, and of course it came with replacement tips and the replacement tool. Um, so let's see what the what makes the basic. The premium pen by itself is $60. The basic pen by itself is $30. Okay, so with the basic pen, so it doesn't seem to have the eraser, it doesn't have the button on the side so you can easily click to do it. Um, you can still of course handwrite on all the things and it still does con um, conveniently attach magnetically to the side and no setup or pairing required. Um, still no need to charge. So it seems like it's the convenient, con the ease of the button as well as the eraser on the premium pin that allows it to be basically premium. And don't forget the pins only work on Kindle Scribe. Okay? Oh, it has a pick. Hold on. Pin. Is that like a real thing or is that a fake thing? I think it's a fake thing. It's a fake thing. That's okay. Fake thing for what I was thinking. Anyway, so let's see. So I've been reading lately, um, Katie Robert. I've been reading finally the rest of the, I've uh, been reading Electric Idol after I read Neon Gods years ago. Um, you own this item. Thank you. Ooh, so this book is on Kindle Scribe. Fun fact, because I've been having questions about that, but that is a whole different thing. Um, but I've been reading that. So, we have a book, we have this. It is my book, my thing is set up. See, welcome. It is huge, it is so big. That's what she said. It's great. Okay, how does it attach? Let's find out. To the side, to this side, to that side. Okay, obviously it's not this side. Oh, there it went. I got it. It attaches to the right side. And it just like I turned it away, but it's buttoned in and it automatically like turned it and placed it for me on the inside. Okay. Um, so let me go to my library. I'm glad it's already set up so that way my books are in here. So it doesn't have buttons to turn the pages at all. So it's a swipe one, um, which is one reason why I really do love my Oasis because it has the buttons, like it has a hand grip. This one does not have a hand grip um, to you hold on by itself, um, but it has a hand grip and you're e easily able to just press the buttons versus having no swipe. It's just, just fun fact. Okay, so meet your writing toolbar. It helps you do more with your pen as you read and take notes. Next, minimize. Tap the top circle to collapse the toolbar. Tap again to expand, blah, 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 blah. Pointer, use the pointer tool to take, or take tap or swipe actions like turning pages or settings. 
sticky note, top to create a blank note that you can place anywhere on the page. And do more. Thank you. We're in setup process. Um, you see, like, I'm not, ooh, it writes so smoothly, though. Like, it writes so easily. I don't need to see what I'm writing. You also don't need to see my handwriting because it's terrible. It's literally awful. Um, okay, I feel like I probably need a setup. I know how to use the main toolbar. And my notes and highlights. I know how to do that. All settings. Pen. Pen shortcut. Choose what tool to use when pressing the shortcut button on your pen. Yes. Press and hold to use your chosen shortcut tool. Aha, so I've obviously, I picked the highlighter because that's really what I want. Cool, so good. So you can close that and we can bring back up to electric idle. So if I press and hold, And so, I feel, okay, so, what I'm getting, what I'm feeling right now, just right off the bat, not playing with it too much, is that I still have to make a sticky note, at least in this book, I still have to make a sticky note in order to make a note and then write about it, which is fine, but I can't, like, highlight and or write directly on the book that I own. Now this is not a, I do not have this book on KU, this is a book I bought and so I, I own it kind of. Don't ask how the Kindle world works. Um, so it's not a book I, I have on KU that I'm borrowing. Um, so just something for me to play with and to think about. But the pen works very easily, it writes super smooth, the screen feels super smooth, like it feels like when you put one of those, the like paper protector, paper screens on your iPad and you didn't even need to do that for this. Okay, so that is that. Library. Um, said it came with, of course, Extra pin tips. I don't know where I'm gonna put these in a safe spot. Probably will lose them. It's okay. Comes with, this one is a USB-C. It's a USB-C one. Not a micro USB. Of course the newest ones are. So like my paper white is a USB-C. Um, of course it, I think it, I don't think I've ever actually read instructions for it. I'm not going to now. Make sure nothing else is hiding in here. So of course, you know, y'all aren't about to. Get me dropping this and have a thing. And then of course, you know, my life is essentially color coded. If you haven't noticed for all of my items. Do these scissors next to me happen to be purple? Yeah, they happen to be purple. I mean, they're also trauma shears, so. <laughs> so of course I got a new case for it which came with a pin holder, because I think once the case is on, I don't think the magnetic portion works for it. Um, but she's pretty. Oh, she's fancier than I thought she was. I'm basically, it might work. And so now she's in a case and so she's open, she's closed. It does do the sleep wake feature that um, you like with opening your Kindle. See? So it does do that. 
Let's see. I don't think it's gonna magnetically attach anymore. <gasps> it does. It does still magnetically attach through the thing, but that's okay because it also just has a pin sleeve that I can put it in and not worry about it. <laughs> um, I like, think I bought like an iPad case from them before, so and I like it. It has a little front sleeve, put some papers in there. Um, but this, this is, I didn't expect this. Um, like, like the pockets in here, I expected the holder. You know, I got it because it'll hold it up. Table, bloop. But it also will hold it up sideways as well for if you're writing on it too. So just fun facts. I will also link that down in my Amazon storefront as well, just so you know where it is and where it's linked to. Um, you have easy access to the charger port from there. And so now she is pretty and purple. I'm excited. I'm so, ha so happy because now I can finally like actually use it and play with it and charge it and um, see what I can do. And then here we go. And probably in about a month, I will be able to give you guys a better update on what I found, especially as I read different books uh, with different formats and see if they're all the same or if just not everything is scribe. So look out for that in about a month, guys. Okay. So that's it for me. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button because I know you like this video and I know you like seeing my face again. Don't forget to share this with all your friends and family. And until next time, keep turning the pages.